What's going on guys? Day one of the NFL Draft has come to an end and of course I am very happy. The Minnesota Vikings traded down with the Cleveland Browns and were still able to get Matt Khalil while getting three extra picks in the process. That was an excellent move by Rick Spielman and that definitely made me very happy watching the rest of the draft. The rest of the night I was able to enjoy it after the nerves kind of ended. I was hoping they wouldn't take Morris Claiborne. I think he's going to be a solid player, but the Vikings run a cover two, and they need the offensive line help a lot more, I thought. So they take Matt Khalil, a guy who I think could be a franchise left tackle 10-plus years. That's what I'm looking for anyways. And then the Vikings surprised me a little bit by trading back into the first round with the Baltimore Ravens. To gave, they gave up a fourth round and a second round pick to do so in order to draft safety Harrison Smith and I was wondering if Harrison would still be available at uh, 35 the Vikings second round selection the Patriots had already made their two selections the Packers had made theirs already and so maybe the Vikings were afraid about somebody picking them up but the Vikings at that point had four fourth round picks and the way I look at it the Vikings got the guy that I wanted them to get in the second round in Harrison Smith and they just made sure they did so by trading up one of their extra fourth rounders to make their second round selection a little bit earlier so I think they addressed their, addressed their two biggest needs early in this draft in the first round. Harrison Smith and Matt Khalil were the two guys I was focusing on as their first two picks. And so I'm very happy with the Vikings right now. I think they are one of the bigger winners of draft day yesterday. I think my biggest winner would have to be the New England Patriots getting Chandler Jones and Dante Hightower. That's definitely going to help out their defense. I like what they did a lot. And I also really like the move by the Cowboys to trade up to get Morris Claiborne because they have a lot of solid receivers to cover in the NFC East. You got Hakeem Nix, Victor Cruz, Pierre Garçon, Deshaun Jackson, and Jeremy Macklin. But going back to the Minnesota Vikings now, they got two of the guys that I really liked in this draft and I wanted them to get. They've addressed their two biggest needs in my opinion because they have better talent at corner and receiver compared to those other two positions right now. And so today what I'm looking for is the Vikings first pick is number 66 overall in the third round. I would like them to take a receiver, but I'm down for the best receiver or corner available at that point. Or I'm thinking about even the Vikings trading up into the third round again because they still have three more fourth round picks. They have ten picks total after doing the wheeling and dealing to get Harrison Smith and Matt Khalil. So ten more picks. Vikings still have flexibility to trade up, trade down, whatever they want to do. I'm just looking for a wide receiver today and hopefully a corner at some point. But I'm very happy now with the NFL draft, guys. I'm excited the Vikings took Matt Khalil. And I can't wait to see what goes down on the rest of the NFL draft. I'll definitely be watching. I'll have some videos to talk about it soon. But so far, I would say that Rick Spielman has done a great job trading down and still getting Matt Khalil and then trading up to get Harrison Smith. Two great players I think are going to really help out this team that are going to be two immediate starters. So I'm looking to see what the Vikings do with the rest of this draft. If they only select once today or if they trade up and make two selections. Either way, right now I'm happy with the Minnesota Vikings draft, and I'm looking forward to see what they do. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.